What's going on dudes, boys and girls, friends and viewers, people who I do know and I still do not. Welcome back, my name is Colossalis. How's it going today? Hopefully do, you guys are doing super super good. Welcome to Subnautica, a game that my girlfriend bought for me. Um, she bought it for Christmas. Um, I love you, baby. And it's basically, I, I've always been a fan of survival games. I love The Forest, I love Don't Starve, but I've never played a lot of them. I've only played, you know, just just a little bit of them, you know, just just pretty much these two, and that's it. And that's I want to expand um, my horizons, and that's why we're going to Subnautica. It's a very very unique game, but I want you to see it for yourself. So we're gonna play. Um, let's see the options. I think everything's yeah. We're playing the highest. Um, the game is kind of badly. Uh, optimize so don't get discouraged by any lag that's happening. But we're gonna start a new game. This is a yeah, this is a, a save that I had just to kind of practice. I don't want to be a total noob. I want to have a certain basics. I want to have basics so you guys don't have to watch me being like, dude, what do I have to do? Or you, I don't I don't want you guys to shout at me saying, get that salt. It's so important in the game. You just missed 15 of them. Yeah, I just don't want that. So I wanted to have some kind of basic. We're going to delete the save though. And we're going to jump into the new one. We have a few options, but we're going to jump into survival. Pretty much one game mode that's going to give you everything that there is in the game. There is um, avoid dangerous creatures, find resources, and manage hunger and thirst. Survive. There's also story in here, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So welcome to Subnautica. I hope that the intro has not changed with the latest patch. No, it looks like it's still the same. Yeah, we're still in this escape pod. We are uh, we're trying to escape from Aurora. A ship that is apparently just... I don't know, it got destroyed. And we are escaping in this life pod. Um, that's it. Watch that plate, watch that plate, watch that plate. Oh, wins. Yep, we just got hit by the plate. That was nasty. That, was nice. that must have hurt as fuck. Oh crap, we got some fire going. We need to put that out. We need to put, out, put that out as fast as possible. This is broken. Okay, we, we got out of there. We got out of there. We got it just fine. Don't worry about us. Let's just grab that uh, extinguisher that's down here. Use our right mouse button to to put it down, to put it out. Awesome. F8 to report bugs and give feedback. This is our PDA. It allows us to view our um, our, our inventory and also some other things. Record essential information, issue survival advice and necessary. As one the, the directive to keep you alive on hostile world. Good luck. So there you go. Yeah, so you, we got blueprints, different uh, different kind of like plans that we know. Um, so this is the log for kind of the story thing. Photo album, we can take screenshots with our photo albums. Um, and yeah, data. And also we, we can write in data for the stuff that we find, for the creatures that we, that we see, um, the locations, the different crash sites. But um, yeah, so let's put it down. Let's um, close, let's actually store this let's take the water with us you know it's survival let's take the nu nutrients blocks as well and yeah so what's different about this game let me show you because it's super crazy there is no land no land at all i mean i think they just added with the greatest kind of expansion they've added a little bit of land but there is no land we can just we're just free to jump in we are just free to jump in and this is our world Unlike forest and, and maybe don't starve, you are not ru running around, you are swimming around. Um, you are just forced to, again, gather resources. Um, so the most importantly, we're going to have to grab some salt. Salt is really important. Quartz is really important too at the beginning, along as, uh, as long as, as well as um, some ores such as copper, iron, um, Oh, there we go. See, break, break limestone. 
Uh, we just we just picked up some titanium up in there. Uh, right in the left bottom corner, you can see our resources. So this is our health, our food, our oxygen, um, and also our thirst. So oxygen, health, food, and thirst going from the top. Um, I can't see too many resources though. I think our like the area right next to us might be a little scarce. But let's see, let's see. We need some quartz. Oh, we're gonna need those vines later on. But by the way, near the near those guys. There are those like little scary dudes that, that fly around. I'm uh, not fly around, but rather um, go around. I want to. Oh, that, that's the one. No, that, that was, that, that, there we go. There we go. Um, Crojack, one of the YouTubers that does this game, calls them stalkers. I call them crocodile things. So we're just gonna call them cracks. So oh, that's he just came way too close to me. I don't want to die that quickly. Right, so we do need some uh, some salt, some salt, some some, some titanium, basically everything. Ooh, you can see the lag is getting pretty pretty ridiculous right now, and it's not even my graphics card. My graphics card is not even working that hard right now. I, I can I can monitor it all. If it gets too too bad, I will decrease the the graphical um, quality just so you guys do not have to worry about you know the the dreams dropping. I mean. It doesn't really affect me at all, but it might affect your viewing experience. Um, we are looking for salt, and we still haven't found... Oh, that's another creep. That's another croc right there. Um, we are pretty much set for the for the first two days of food and water, because we do have the, the, the bottle right there. There's a copper ore. It's going to be needed for some, um, for some batteries. Dude, I just cannot find... Oh, there, there's quartz. Okay, I found some quartz, but we do need that salt. That salt is so important for your survival in this game. There, I see some more, I think, quartz. Is that quartz? It is, yeah. It's so, so... Okay, we're gonna actually dive up. Actually, dive. I'm gonna get up and then dive down to see what's in this cave right here. We, see, we do see some more quartz. Do these things are fucking stupid. I'm not I'm not going in there. These guys, th these little guys are just annoying. They jump onto you, they scare the shit out of me a few times, and Yeah. Is that a salt? Yes! Yes! We found salt. Salt is gonna be so huge. We're gonna pick up some of those mushrooms as well, because they're gonna be super important for building batteries. Um so I want to kind of get this first episode. As kind of a, kind of kind of a setting up basics, basically getting what we need to survive in the world, and just start building our base. Um, of course, that's, uh, basically getting to the point where I can start start building our base is going to be is going to take quite a few episodes. But the first episode is just going to be building up your you know you know our basis of of, of tools basis of, of uh, resources and just kind of getting down with the basics uh, our pod is right there so I'm, I'm kind of I'm okay and there's some more quartz I'm gonna need that for some glass glass is gonna be very useful as it's going to provide us what the fuck as it is going to provide us with additional uh, oxygen you, you guys will see why in a second um, dude like okay I, I, I was just gonna say that lack of salt is actually killing us right now because we do need salt very, very desperately. What's this? Can I pick a oh, creature egg? Okay. Wow. This is, looks beautiful, by the way. This game looks beautiful. Okay. I'm not gonna go in here. We do not have the, the gas tank yet, the, the oxygen tank, um, which allows us to kind of stay underwater for longer. So I'll try not to get into too many crazy places, too many like any creeks or anything like that. As I say that, we do go right through. I think. Oh, that was just horrible. You see, you, you see what I mean by by a lack of optimization. Um, you see, we have we are pretty much like stable here um, at sixty frames right now, but then next second is just like the. Basically, the frame rate just goes poop and it just just f's up. So that's all about that. I mean, it's still an early access, so I'm not actually ex I'm not complaining. I'm just saying you know, that's an issue that needs to be solved uh, in order for uh, for for gamers to have a great experience. Let's go back to our uh, life pod here. 
see we can climb up from the bottom and we have our fabricator which lets us craft it lets us um do some awesome things so let me just check my yeah we go yeah my graphics card is just not not even doing that much so we have our, our resources uh let's see what we need so i am going to want to do th three i want to build fins fins i know what i need for the fins but uh i am going to have to build my survival knife which i need silicone rubber for and there's one more thing what they want to buy um what they want to craft it was the gas tank that's right that was the gas tank so i need glass and i can actually make glass right now so uh, let's make glass uh by the way that quartz which we picked up is gonna allow us to do that uh, we can make an o2 tank which allows us to extend our oxygen to 75. so let's go down and actually it's going nighttime but this it actually doesn't actually change too, th too many things in this game oh fuck uh, don't hit me with those things they're gonna explode i don't like them yeah okay um in this game nighttime doesn't affect too much it just affects your vision it doesn't affect you know like maybe scary monsters coming out or anything like that um it just affects your vision let's just pick up some of that quartz so we're not gonna have to worry about it later and i really want to get near those vines but when it's dark it's gonna be really hard for me to see those cracks and um basically these cracks are what you can see i can see nothing right now that's exactly what I'm saying. So I think for the duration of the night, we're gonna we're gonna try to find some more salt um, because it's really important, of course, as I said before. Oh my god, dude, the FPS just dropping so hard sometimes. I think when it's actually loading a new part of the um, of the of the underworld, you can say of the underwater world, dude, this looks really good. Um, yeah. So we're gonna focus on finding some more resources that down here. Even though it's going to be a, be a little harder with you know with not as much light, it's actually getting pretty ridiculous. The the frame rate, so I might just lower it down a little bit. Let's get some more titanium. Oh, we are actually right next to some uh, to some of those those orange balls that we need. But I'm looking for the crocs, and I don't. There's a croc right there. Okay, here's our chance. Here's our chance. Okay, that's it, that's it, that's all we need. Uh, I'm gonna fall. Yes! Just made it, boys. We just made it. Okay, awesome. So, yeah, so none of the crocs actually got us, and the blue balls are, not the blue balls, the orange balls is what makes the uh, the silicone. The silicone rub, oh shit. That was a croc right there. I don't want none of, I don't want to have nothing to do with it. Wow, don't shoot your balls, brother. These guys are called sea cows, I think. I think they're called sea cows. I mean, they're there for a reason, right? They're just kind of like... Just the, just like the bottom of the food chain, I guess. When it comes to animals and, and this. Yes, yeah, so. We can make some... Um, some silicone rubber. There we go. I actually need to make three silicone rubbers. So... There we go. There's two. There is three. Great, awesome. That allows us to craft ourselves a survival knife, which makes it much, much easier to gather certain um, certain resources. And also we, we do have our fins. The fins allow us to just swim faster, get out of the trouble, but also, um, but also just get around faster, allow us to cover more ground on a single O2 charge, if you, if you know what I mean, if you know what I mean. Um, so I'm actually done with everything that I wanted to do for this episode, but because I thought it's going to take me longer, but let's see what we can actually build here. We can build ourselves a scanner. We do need the battery. So let's see what we need for the battery. Electronics, uh, battery. I can build the battery because I did get the copper and I did get the acid ashrams. So let's see if I can build a scanner. There we go. A scanner will allow us to get new blueprints. I'm able to scan some things to basically add them to kind of like my blueprints area let's let me actually hit the nutrients now uh it was q there we go nutrient block 
You can see it gives us a lot of a lot of uh, food. Uh, it's actually still nighttime, but we do have our knife now, which is going to allow. No, 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 no. Which is going to allow us to gather again uh, resources much faster, but also allow us to gather some resources we couldn't gather before. But for example, I'm going to come up to this big ass tube right here. And you actually swim faster if you don't have anything equipped. And we can just we can just chop it, just chop it. We can get some common coral samples, which is going to be needed for one of our things. I don't actually remember what was actually needed for. So you actually do swim faster when you don't have anything in your hands right now. But what you can you use your stuff for? I can just equip this, and I, just, I can be like, yeah, let's just let's just scam these guys. I'm just gonna scam them, and this should add it to my PDA basically. It's gonna add me some. Uh, so there you go, alien life form, a riving weed. It's basically what it's called, and I can also do this for for acid mushrooms, and it's just gonna add me. It's just gonna add them to my you know to my kind of like um, encyclopedia, you can say. And it's going to tell me maybe their uses, uh, how how um, do the bladderfish are actually very important. I need to catch that bladderfish. Yeah, do bladderfish allows me to get they basically they purify water. What where is she? There we go. They purify water. So I, by getting a bladderfish, I can I can actually get pure water, which is pretty awesome. Pretty goddamn awesome. Oh, there's actually some hidden salt up in here. Awesome, awesome. So it's going to be very, very important again for building uh, certain things. Um, now what we need is our repair tool. Repair tool will allow us to repair not only our base, because you see all of this is pretty much broken, um, but also some other things. Maybe we actually come across a crash site where maybe a, br maybe a door is broken. And when we repair it, we can actually get inside. So we, I want to at least start the process of getting uh, resources for our... Um, for our repair tool here. So let's go personal uh, equipment. Repair tool needs crash fish powder. Uh, I, they, the crash fish are found in the in the caves. So I'm gonna have to go down to a cave soon. And magnesium, let's see what we need for a magnesium. Uh, I can actually boil, uh, there we go. Salt was needed for that magnesium. So we're gonna build ourselves some magnesium, um, have that ready for our repair tool. And now we need to go on a hunt for some crash fish. Um, let's le leave some of that stuff. I'm not gonna use. I'm not, not gonna need quartz anymore. I'm gonna leave the magnesium here as well. Common coral sample is not needed either. Creature egg. There we go. Not needed. I'm gonna actually drink some water. But other than that, why do I have crash fish in my hand? Wow, that looks nuts. Let's just push that crash fish away, shall we? No crash fish, um, bladder fish. I can actually turn it into water, so I can do water. You can see I can make a blood. I can make a bottle of water because it purifies the water for me um, out of this bladder fish. So I'm gonna actually make myself some two of them, and we'll be good. Hopefully, um, the fish actually come back to the area after you kill them. Hopefully. Hopefully, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to be left without um, without the bladder fish here. The bladder fish are actually very, very good way of just getting the wa just getting water. Um, so we need to find crash fish. Crash fish will be in caves. Um, I saw a couple of caves, but honestly, it's just a matter of going around and trying to find some. Uh, just some some kind of hole, some kind of like deeper. Um, deeper holes where I can uh, where I can plunge myself into and um, wait for that crush fish to come out try to eat me by the way you can actually you can actually uh, consume those bubbles to get yourself some oxygen back which is awesome it allows us to stay underwater for much longer there we go that's crash fish so I have to do I have to come close it's gonna shoot out it's gonna go for me Oh fuck! It actually exploded. Okay. Now let's make sure there's no more crash fish. Okay, we did. We didn't get the powder. We didn't get the powder. That's pretty bad. We need to get some more crash fish. It's actually very risky. Hello. 
I need to, I need to get out. I need to get out. I need to get out. Oh, I need to get out. Uh, we didn't get powder this time. We got actually a creature egg. There we go. And we go and go back down because I think I saw some more crush with. I think I saw some a little bit more of the, that red glow that we like to see. Um, our health is pretty down though, so. There we go. It exploded, it didn't actually get close to me, but let's hope that this time we got the powder. We didn't get anything this time! That is so horseshit. That is such bullshit. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we look like we are back in our coral. Let's get some more oxygen here. Okay, I think we need to go and get some first aid, I think, with us. Gonna be really important. Whoa! I did not see that crash fish there. Did we get the powder? Yes, the powder is there. Finally, awesome. We did get the crash fish powder, which is gonna allow us. It's, it's a one. It's like a one-time thing. Let's actually get that uh, ore. That's also. Um, yeah, let's get that as well right now and let's go back to our base um, to build our repair tool to repair the entire uh, our entire life raft which is going to enable us to do so so many things so so many things actually it's going to allow us also to continue with our story um, yeah just everything everything all right so personal tools oh god damn it all right i actually do need them i need to take out the magnesium that i put into our um our locker there and now we can make a repair tool there we are repair tool is going to be very very useful for just everything it used to be called the welder by the way guys so just if you guys didn't know there we go so now everything is going to kind of snap to back to place it's going to allow us to Get the power pod going you can see we get our power back and actually looks very good but there's still some smoking going up in here you know what i mean there's still some smoking so let's uh, repair this communication center which is going to continue our story and it looks like that's it that's actually the the entire thing already working um let's actually get some some open med kit let's actually can we actually use it straight away or is it not possible to use it yeah, let's use it. Okay, awesome. So that'll be it for the first episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the first episode of Subnautica. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it as, as much as I am. I'm so excited to play some more survival games. And this one is like one of the most... Um, one of the most... I don't say exclusive, but unique I've played in a long time. Uh, it kind of forces you to play... What? What? Why are you standing there, Mr. Fish? Mr. Fish? I have a pepper in my hand. <laughs> See, it's just random stuff that happens like that. It's just super awesome about these these games. This game is still in early access, so there will be patches along this along the way of our of our playthrough here. But again, hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. If you are, leave, leave that like button and. Yeah, just tell me what you think. Tell me what we should do in this game. If I did anything wrong, tell me what I did wrong. That's a crack! Mr. Crack, you're way too far out. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one.